Hi, it's Claire from Make Brew. Welcome to this week's vlog. This week, I want to talk to you about the wrong file types. Now, what I mean is, I'm often given logo files to create jobs for my clients, where a friend or a designer that's used to working online has created a logo in something like Canva or Photoshop. It's even been a scanning drawing of something. Now, these things might work in some places, but you are going to come across some usability issues somewhere along the line. For example, if you want to make something bigger, so you've got a website, the logo looks nice on that, it's because it's on screen and it's digital, but then you decide you're gonna have some business cards printed or you're gonna go to an exhibition and you need a pull-up banner. Now, this logo will not work on those platforms or the applications, basically. So if you're going to put something on an exhibition banner and you need to make it bigger because they're usually two metres by one metre on average in size, that's quite big. So your logo that looks lovely on the website is going to look rubbish. It's going to look like Lego, it's going to be really pixelated and blurry and that won't make a good impression for your business. So make sure that your logo has a vector version. Now, this would be created in something like Adobe Illustrator or software like that that can create vector files. These are basically lines that can be scaled up or shrunk down and they do not lose quality. So you can create a digital file from a vector for social media or for a website, but you can't go back the other way and create a vector file out of a photograph, which is a bitmap file. So make sure in your asset pack, you should all have an asset pack as well. This comes as standard in all the jobs that I do. You get your logos in the primary format. So the one that you will see in most often, you get it in a landscape format. So you might need to use it on a, like a letterbox shape. So the top of a website header, for example, you'll get a social media profile sort of image. Like I use my cups picture. So I don't use my full logo. I just use the symbol. You'll get it in black, you'll get it in white, because sometimes you might need to use it over the top of an image or a different uh, colour where it doesn't stand out when it's in its normal format. So you get all these versions for screen and for print in all these colour options. So you've got a full toolkit that you can use to promote your logo and your brand. Now, some designers do this and some don't. So just check what you've been given. And if you need some help with it or you're not sure what you've got or you need some advice, as always, please get in touch. If this has been useful for you, please like and share. I'm happy to help. Cheers.